Today is April 20th, which means my next two days are going to be very exciting. Let me give you the quick rundown. This morning, my best friend and I were off to the airport to go pick up one of our besties who's coming into town for the weekend to surprise her boyfriend because it's his birthday, but it's also going to be my birthday, so it's like a double birthday present. I am very excited. When I get back from Charlottetown, I'm going to be hopping in my car, heading across the bridge for the first time in two plus years, and I'm going to be going to Moncton for two days. I'm going to be finally getting my IHOP. I'm going to have some birthday drinks. I am, uh... I'm ready to get the show on the road, but it's gonna be a long, busy day. Here's my travel outfit. I just have my uh, Pierce the Veil sweatshirt on. I got some rippy jeans on, a little bit of gold jewelry. I am ready to hit the road and I am ready to start the day. I'm very much a morning person and I am very much excited. And I also haven't had any caffeine yet today, so I'm assuming that'll happen at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was gonna see that. <laughs> all right, I am back home. I just loaded all of my bags into the car. I can see the kitties looking out the window at me and it's breaking my heart, but my bestie's gonna be feeding them while I'm gone, so I'd better make my way to the bridge now. It is a big bridge and I am nervous because I haven't driven over it in a long time. I can't remember exactly how big it is, but if I can find that information, I'll put it right here for you. It's a big boy. <laughs> so without further ado, I guess I will take off. I don't think I'm gonna be doing much filming while I'm driving for obvious reasons. So once I get to Moncton, I will check in with you guys. No, thank you. Okay, so that's good. If I had to guess, I think somebody's moving a mini home across the bridge, just FYI, in case you didn't notice, we're gonna have a little bit of a delay. Uh. So I got some shopping done at the mall and it's just about time to check in at the hotel. So I'll show you what I got once I'm checked in at the hotel. I hope I can find it easier than I found the mall because, oh my god, it should not have been as hard as it was. <laughs> Clearly I found the hotel, I found my room, I checked in, everything went just fine. I have to go and put this on my car shortly or something happens to my car or something happens to me. I don't know how that works. So before I go and do this, let me show you what I got so far. I got a toffee nut iced coffee with oat milk because, um, yum, delicious. <laughs> I got some mahogany teakwood body lotion because this smell, I, I live for it. It is my favorite from Bath and Body Works. Next, I got the champagne toast lotion because this one is also delicious. I like my body scents to be not too sweet and a little bit spicy. This one, perfection. I also got the mahogany teakwood hand sanitizer because I needed a new hand sani and it's hard to say no to mahogany teakwood. <laughs> and from Sephora this evening, I have a feeling like I'll need it after going to dinner and have a few sippies and that is a coconut face mask. I love their sheet face mask. They smell splendid. I also got a beautiful gold eyeliner that I'm gonna be wearing to dinner tonight. I also got the slightly larger version of the matcha meditation that I used in my previous videos before I had one that was about this big and now I have a slightly fuller sized one. The smell is incredible. Last but not least, I got one of the Nest Perfume Oils and that's in Madagascar Vanilla. In case you haven't noticed yet, I have a thing for smells. Basically everything I bought so far is just for the smell, I like smells. I like smelling nice. So I should probably go put that thing in my car and then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear to supper. So I will be right back before my car gets towed away forever. <laughs> so it's about quarter to four and I'd like to start getting ready for dinner. I'm going out to get pizza and beer. So I have two options for outfits. One of them has tighter pants, the other has looser pants. So since I'm gonna go eat, I'm gonna go and put on the outfit that consists of the looser pants. I will be right back. So here's the outfit for now. I'm gonna be putting a sweater on over top of this, but I wanna put my makeup on first so that I don't get too toasty and then sweaty and just that combination. <laughs> All 
All right, so here's the final fit. I'm just gonna put my docs on with it. I don't think I'm gonna take you guys with me, but I'll definitely take pictures of what I'm eating. I just really wanna enjoy my experience while I'm there and not have to worry about what bits I should and should not film. So I will see you later this evening. The time is now 7.30 and I am back for my supper. I ended up going to the pump house for supper and I got one of their fire oven roasted pizzas. It was really good and I got a beer too and one of my cousins came and joined me for supper. I went for a walk after supper because honestly I ate a lot of pizza and I needed the walk and then I came back here and I watched an episode of Bob's Burgers. So now I'm gonna go down to the bar and I have decided that I'm gonna try two cocktails that I have never tried before. One of them being an espresso martini. I've seen lots of people talk about them and I have a feeling that I will enjoy it. And the other one is a grasshopper. This is what's in it. <laughs> Same as last time, I'm not gonna bring my camera with me because I just wanna enjoy the experience, but I will be taking pictures on my phone and I will be sure to include them. So I guess I'm 23 now. I guess that's how that works. <laughs> I was able to go down to the bar last night and order both of the drinks that I want to try. The espresso martini, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10 just because it was like a little bit gritty, but other than that, delicious perfection. I expected to enjoy that one. Now the grasshopper, it looked like green milk, pale green milk, very pretty pale green. Um, it kind of tasted like Minty Buckley's. However, I am still sick, so I feel like the Minty Buckley's-esque flavor helped me just a little bit. I also didn't get a picture until I was mostly done because I was on the phone for almost an hour with one of my friends last night. I was also listening to live music. It was a very, very pleasant evening. <laughs> the plan now is to finish this coffee, uh, get dressed, finish packing up my room, check out, and then I'm going to go to IHOP for breakfast. I'm not going to put any makeup on this morning because I do have a spa appointment at 11 and I'm going to get a lash lift and I'm going to put on my makeup after that. Also gonna get a pedicure and you guys will be getting no pictures of that. <laughs> My feet look awful right now. And then I'm gonna be going back to the mall because there's a pair of Doc Martens that I really, really, really want and I just wanna see if they have it in my size. <laughs> and then after that, I'm going to be going to my favorite shopping place of all times and that will be Value Village. I think I'm gonna end the day by going to perhaps Starbucks and then my sister wants me to bring her back a crunch wrap. Even though it's going to be soggy, she says she does not care, that is what she wants, so I will uphold that honor. <laughs> so I suppose that's my cue to roll out of bed and find some clothes, eh? I'd sit here all day, this bed is so comfortable. I can't believe I'm drinking coffee in bed. I never do this. So here's my fit for the day. I'm feeling like a fatty, ready to go get some pancakes. What do you guys think of it? I sent pictures to my friends and they all tried to hype me up about it, and the hyping worked, so. I'm feeling powerful today. Let's go fill myself up with some carbs. <laughs> My breakfast was fantastic, oh my god. Okay, I've been hyping up going to IHOP for about two years now and I was like, pancakes, you know, it's it's nothing special, but when you've been wanting something for two years and it turns out to be, you know, pretty freaking good, I have a lot of sugar in my system now. <laughs> so I stopped at another Starbucks. I got a black iced coffee with some cinnamon dolce syrup in it. And I'm just gonna sit in my car and relax and finish this up because my spa appointment's in about half an hour. I'm very excited for it. I will update you after I go in. So I realized that my eyelashes don't look crazy lifted, but apparently it's gonna take about 24 hours for them to actually like, oop. <laughs> <laughs> As for my pedicure, my feet feel like I have never walked on them in my entire life. I have baby's feet right now. They are so soft. She massaged my legs with lotion. She put paraffin wax on my feet. Oh my God, it was lovely. It was so wonderful. <laughs> so my plan now is to get to Value Village, do a little thrifting if I can. If I can't find anything, that's fine. So let's go to Value Village, shall we? All right, my shopping trip to Value Village is complete. Let me show you what I got. <laughs> so the first two things I got today were two new rings for my middle fingers. Exhibit A, very cute, and Exhibit B, also very cute. Now let me show you the clothes I got. I wish I could do like a try-on, but I'm in my car, so I can't really do that. Is this a terrible angle? Probably. That's fine. 
I got myself a new pair of ripped black jeans. I have a pair of ripped black jeans right now, but the pockets on them are saggy and it makes my butt look saggy. So, um, these are also American Eagle, so yeah. I know that they're gonna fit because I know my size is American Eagle, so these are a win. Seeing as it's 14 degrees today and I didn't know if I was gonna be able to make the drive home in long pants, I got these bad boys. Look how cute they are, I love them so much. As well as these bad boys, which are also American Eagle, so I knew what my size was, so I know that these ones are gonna fit me and they also look a little bit like longer, like long enough that my butt's not gonna fall out the back, so that's a win for me. And last but not least, la pièce de résistance. Mike's Hard Lemonade. <laughs> I thought this was just so cute and I couldn't leave it there. It's a good price too, it was like $5.50, so. It is now time to hit the road, go back to the mall, get myself those boots I wanted, and get my sister her crunch wrap, so. Let's hope that the traffic isn't too busy yet. Ugh. Welcome back to another awful angle. However, I am pleased to inform you, the boots have been acquired. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. And here's the boots in question. I've been wanting these ones for an extremely long time and I am very fortunate to have gotten them today. They're in a size five, of course, because I basically have no feet. The only thing I'm not looking forward to is breaking them in. If you've ever broken in docks before, you know it's, it's not a good time. So the last stop on this trip will just be through the Taco Bell drive-thru. So I will not be taking you guys with me because I'm starting to get a little bit too sweaty and very excited to get home and to be with my kitties. So that is all I have for you guys this week. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, you can feel free to give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already, the button is down below for that too. So as always, please be kind to yourself and until next week, take care.